is partially true, but it's not the complete truth. Cholesterol is actually important for body functions, for example, hormone productions and cell buildings. There are two main types of cholesterol. The first one, LDL or low density lipoprotein, which is the bad cholesterol as it will cause plugs and narrow down your blood vessels. It will subsequently cause heart attack or stroke. The second type or known as the good cholesterol, high density lipoprotein or HDL, is the one that will carry cholesterol back to your liver and subsequently excreted from your body. Sources of good cholesterol include beans, fatty fish and so on. There are two main types of diabetes, the type 1 and type 2 diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, the insulin producing cells in your pancreas are destroyed by your immune system. No amount of sugar in your diet or anything in your lifestyle has caused or can cause you to get type 1 diabetes. With type 2 diabetes, though we know that it doesn't directly correlate with your sugar intake, you are more likely to get it if you are overweight. You gain weight when you take more calories and this is what sugary food or drinks can cause. The effect of sugar is weight gain, which increases your risk for type 2 diabetes. But type 2 diabetes is a complex disease and taking sugar alone is unlikely to be the cause for this condition to develop. Yes and no. Carrot contains vitamin A or retinol and this is required in for your body to synthesize rhodopsin, which is the pigment in your eyes that is used during low light condition. If you have a vitamin A deficiency, you will likely develop night blindness. In fact, according to World Health Organization, vitamin A deficiency is the leading cause of preventable blindness among children. But this condition is not common in Malaysia. Eating carrots will correct your, will correct your vision to the point of an ordinary person, but you will not get any extraordinary power of vision, including during darkness. Interestingly, this myth begins in World War II when the British Air Ministry issued statements stating that their pilots were using carrots for exceptional night vision. This is to mask the fact that they were actually using radars to intercept bombers during night raids. A recent study shows that reduction of salt intake from a high level of 11.6 gram to an average level of 3.8 gram per day caused a decrease in blood pressure for, of 7.8 over 2.7 mm mercury in Asian population with hypertension. High salt intake is associated with increased risk and death from not only heart attack but also from stroke. Elevated blood pressure, particularly over a long period of time, put an incredible strength on the heart. Unchecked hypertension can also damage the artery walls, which begins to collect fat, leading to heart disease and, pro and potentially also stroke. In Malaysia, the estimated mean sodium intake is 8.7 to 9.5 gram per day. The World Health Organization recommends reduction in salt intake to less than 2 grams of sodium or less than 5 grams of salt. That is equivalent to 1 teaspoon of salt per day.